let me invite you uh, where you are to bow your heads and pray with me this morning. Heavenly Father, uh, we exalt you this morning according to what we read in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3, as the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. So please, Father, Father of mercies, have mercy on this world you've made. Uh, We continue to operate as people and as a church in relative isolation because of this pandemic. Give us strength to endure it. Comfort us by your own presence. Help us to to reach out with Christian comfort to our neighbors, to those who are hurting more than than we might be in this season. Most especially, uh, we ask that you would help us to, to share the saving comforts we've come to know in Jesus with all the lost who are around us. Give us a mind to know you, and to make you known. Lord, I I rejoice to know that that many of our own members are boldly sharing the gospel during this season. They're redeeming the time by sharing your great redemption in Christ. I've had conversations with Callum and Suzanne and Bronson and Amy and Nathan and Hannah and Bobby and Jenna, and the list goes on and on. Our own faithfully recounting your saving acts to the lost. And what joy fills my heart to have heard of at least one person who it seems has come to faith in Christ through our testimony in these days. And we just want to give you all the glory for your almighty grace towards this person in Jesus. And we do pray for them in particular, uh, that you would nourish and strengthen her conviction of the truth of the gospel, that Jesus would be big and beautiful and brilliant beyond compare in the eyes of her heart. Uh, We pray uh, when we're able to to gather together again that you'd move her towards uniting with your people where her faith can be confirmed and and edified and rooted in your word. And we pray also for her husband that her faith and and the testimony of these these same believers who were sharing with her, their testimony towards him uh, would, would lead him also to new life in Christ by the power of your Spirit. And we pray that He uh, soon would be numbered amongst the saints of God. Uh, We do also want to continue to pray for Pastor Derek. Uh, We thank you so much for him and for uh, Lisa and the family. Uh, Please firm up his faith as you draw near to him. Uh, Help him to have a clearer sight of your love and care than he did prior to his injury, uh, we do pray that you would come alongside and show mercy to the Forrester family. Do comfort them. Do it even as I pray. Uh, send your ministering spirit to administer mercy and relief and sanctification to their hearts and home. And Father, we pray for our time in your word upcoming. Um, may the songs between now and then comfort our hearts even as we lift them up in in what I hope is true spiritual worship to you, and help the preacher. Uh, You know just how deeply needy I am. You know how deeply needy we are. And so come and minister your word to us. Take the seeds planted and watered and make them grow. Grant the Holy Spirit to come and to illumine the eyes of our hearts that we may behold the hope we have in Christ, make us beneficial comforters of this hope, ministers of this hope to each other. Please profit our hearing of your word for your glory. We ask this in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. All right, let's continue worshiping our triune God this morning, right now, by singing, It is well with my soul.